I've been painting really since I was uh, two or three years old and I used to scribble on walls in a kindergarten uh, and I discovered poster paints and got very excited when I was pushing the paint around. So I've been painting and drawing pretty much all my life. Um, spend a lot of time in classrooms looking out the window and scribbling on bits of paper and dreaming and not paying attention to the teacher and being scolded and stuff like that. I'm professionally a scientist, and this is largely because uh, my father, who was an electronic engineer, didn't believe that uh, the creative world was one way you could make money. Um, and I've been painting and drawing uh, and being recognized for a long time, so I decided that I could do both at the same time. I've always been excited about art and during my life I've run art and science professionally in parallel. I think historically I've always liked uh, gooey paint but my my true love is uh, oil paints. Uh, I find them very exciting and the, uh, the colour when it dries doesn't shift so uh, the colour you put on the canvas is the colour you get. I like drawing with different materials. Watercolour, or rather mixed media, because I tend to combine watercolour with other things, get me very excited. I like using nice materials. I look for colour that's very bright and sings to you when you look at it. I'm inspired by both music and literature. In fact, uh, when I paint at any time, I would say 99% I'm, of the time I'm, I'm listening to music. I very much enjoy uh, taking quotes from literature. Now, the, the piece that's actually behind me is a piece that I'm, I've been working on. Uh, I tend to uh, start and stop. Uh, but I, it, this, this quote here is uh, from Midsummer's Night's Dream by Shakespeare, of course. Uh, and I like it because, you know, it says, What mask, what music, how shall we beguile? Um, I was brought up in Australia, and uh, the, the symbolism that you see is very characteristic of, of the uh, Aborigines um, and their art. And they tend to use stipple. Uh, but their, their shapes are about uh, communication and pathways and meetings and um, the desert and stuff like this. Yeah, I just wanted to give uh, an example of my uh, creation process and what tends to happen is uh, I will uh, listen to some music and then I'll get involved with it and then I'll become completely overwhelmed. So I will create uh, a lot of images uh, sequentially. Sometimes I'll go back and, and play with them. Uh, and here happens to be a group of paintings that I did exactly that. Music on and then listen to it and I, I go through and and I, I start creating the work and I can actually binge. So this group of uh, paintings was all produced in, in one session. I'd been traveling and I was in Taiwan and the colors in Taiwan are very bright and I had some pastels uh, and they give very intense and deep opaque colors and I love that. <laughs> 